I think building trust in AI and ML is huge for any company to succeed. And that's because not every problem is well suited for humans to work on. Things that people used to think were impossible to automate, now, if you have the right amounts of data, are possible. Airspace is a tech-enabled logistics company that specializes in same-day time-critical shipping. We ship the most time-critical types of goods. So think of things that need to get there very fast. We measure in minutes, not hours. Things like airplane parts, human organs, blood samples. These customers, they have people waiting on the back end. Being able to see where those shipments are at all times is crucial to uh, the success of whatever they're waiting on. So I think it's really important for machines to do what machines are good at, so humans can do what humans are good at. Machines are really good at parsing through just absolute mountains of data. If you're doing a international NFO, it's actually, there's a quadrillion options uh, if you're going between two different countries, time critical, same day. It's an impossible number, it's a needle in a haystack problem, and machines are great at doing that. There's lots of time when you're calculating a quote, there's lots of time when you're identifying a driver, and every minute you spend doing those things, planes are taking off. So if you get a package to the airport 15 minutes early, it might result in a six hour earlier delivery. Part for downed aircraft could save a company over $150,000 an hour. So you're saving huge amounts of money just by getting there minutes before everybody else. The secret behind AI and machine learning at airspace is actually people, which is kind of surprising. What we're trying to do is something that's pretty much impossible for computers, which is route arbitrarily sized things, arbitrary commodities that are very different, need to be handled different through very, very complex routes. So we train our AI on our people's data, and then every time our operations team does something, whether they confirm the router's behavior or change the router's behavior, the router learns. In the airspace, we have a lot of historic data uh, surrounding every step of our shipments. On top of that data, we build AI systems that learn from everything that might happen and does happen during the shipment. And this allows us to make the best route possible, foresee any potential risks that could happen, uh, and secure the most efficient way to deliver shipments. AirTrace is a small device that you can include with your shipment and it provides visibility in real time where it is. Not only you know where it is, you know the conditions for some of our uh, customers, temperature and humidity are very important. Geofencing is creating a fence around the predicted route so we can really track where the shipment is. And the second it deviates even a little bit, we know and can interfere and fix everything before it's even uh, significantly delayed. Our technology actually allows us to be more flexible. Certain clients, they'll want to avoid an airport. They'll want to use their own label on packages. And we have the technology that not just allows them to be able to do that, but allows us at Airspace to be able to allow them to do that in a scalable way. I mean, customer service is the top priority of our 24-7 in-house ops team. Everyone on the team fully understands the stakes that we're playing with in time and critical logistics. You couple that with the ownership mentality that the entire team has, you supplement that further with the technology that allows us to be sort of this best in class, very quick reacting ops team. And I think what it creates is sort of an unrivaled customer service experience. I think we can all agree that machine learning is already helping in every area of our lives. In logistics, we're just beginning to explore the power of machine learning with airspace being the front of this advancing technologies and I think everyone else will just have to catch up. The industry will require more visibility into where their shipments are. People on the business side are expecting that now and so I think the trend of more visibility is something that's going to continue to be first and foremost most important to these uh, logistics managers that are that are managing their supply chain.
sometimes people just don't trust AI. They're not sure, it's scary. And I think we need to deserve it by showing the spectacular dance service that is not matched by anyone else. I think there's a huge amount of frustration around traditional time-critical freight forwarding. And it's because technology kind of asymmetrically gets better. But then all of a sudden time-critical, it's like traveling back in time. So I think when you give a demo of airspace and they see all this tech coming together in a domain that matters so much to them, it's just a huge sigh of relief for the customer. So airspace is phenomenally different than the traditional time-critical model.